Hello, Jenny. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello. How are you? Fine. How, how are you? Pretty good. A little tired, but good. Um, how was your weekend? Um, fine. Yeah, what did you do? I... I was... sewing? Mm -hmm. Cosiendo se dice sewing, man. Cosiendo. Uh-huh. Yes, I was sewing. Sewing? Mm -hmm. And what were you sewing, Jenny? What? What? What were you sewing? Pants, shirts, dresses. Uh, it's a uh, cheers and dress, dress, cubre camas. I don't know. Ah, okay, maybe blankets. Blankets. Uh -huh. Okay. Wow, is it must be difficult to sew blankets. Yes, because it's very, very, very long. Yeah, yes. I was thinking that maybe for blankets is more complicated. Um, yes. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. Okay. And what do you like to sew, Jenny? What do you like? What do you like to sew? Um, I like to... to... To so uh, see so so mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, faldas I don't know skirts scarves okay blankets mm -hmm. I like it. I like it <laughs> mm, okay pants pants too <laughs> okay a uh, pants for women or pants for men uh for so Women and, and men's. Okay. Okay. Good. Well, it seems like you are very busy the weekend. And Jenny, this is your business, sewing. No, because I don't I don't have yo I I I I sew. Ah, you don't have it, but but you like it. Yes, I like it. I um, like but it. no but it no is your business. No, no, it's your Okay. Well, that's good. That's good. It's like the extra activity, the hobby. Mm -hmm. Walter, how are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm doing great. Thank you. I'm sorry. I couldn't ask uh, attend to a class the last week. I have some problem with my computer. Suddenly, it uh, doesn't work my computer. It was difficult to connect. I saw that. I saw that it was a little hard for you, right? Yeah, but I'm fixing. Okay, but now it's okay. Yeah. All right, great. Well, I'm glad to hear that now you are back and you are ready. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and how was your weekend? What did you do? Um, I'm doing, I'm doing so um, I I was I was trying learning about vocabulary and some area areas technical areas, but I think it's so necessary to learn. Uh, uh learn um vocabulary in my case. I think it's necessary. Okay. Yeah. Good. So last week it was a little bit more complicated for you, right? Yeah. <laughs> But it's good. Okay. Well, well, it's good that you are back. Okay. Yeah. Well, this is the, our last week. We only have four classes. And in our four classes, we're going to be focused in the writing section. This is the last part that we have for our writing section. Okay. Yeah. All right. So let's take a look. Before we begin, does anybody have any questions, any comments?
Good evening, teacher. Good evening. <laughs> well, uh, now we are ready to begin the writing section. Okay, perfect. Just checking mm -hmm. if we have any questions before we begin. Let's take a look. Okay. Yes. Let me share my screen. Here we go. Okay. So here we have our writing section, the last part of our TOEFL course for this part. Here, let's watch a little bit about what we're going to learn and the different types that there are for the writing sections. Welcome to the last section of this course, the writing section. Here, we'll study independent writing question two. We'll tell you what it is and what is expected from you. As always, you will have time to practice and to take the writing test. Good luck. Okay, let's take a look what exactly we're going to be seeing, just like everything else, always have different ideas and different types of questions. One sec. Here we go. Let's move on now to the last section of this course, the writing section. We'll go over writing question two and the independent writing question. We will see how the question is structured, how to approach the question, how your response is a score, and we'll give you some tips for improving your writing skills. So here's generally what question two will look like. For this task, you're presented with a question and you have 30 minutes to write your response. There's no maximum length for your essay, but a good response is usually at least 300 words. So what is the question asking you to do? Question structured, 30 minutes, 300 or more words. The independent writing question will ask your opinion on an issue. So often you'll get a question such as, do you agree or disagree? Which would you prefer? Or do you support or oppose this idea? Question structure, your opinion on an issue. Do you agree or disagree? Which would you prefer? Do you support or oppose this idea? Use the specific reasons and examples. Approach tips. Make an outline. Some people like to travel with a companion. Other people prefer to travel alone. Which do you prefer? Don't memorize. Scoring criteria. A scored zero to five. Development, organization, language use. Before the test, make sure you understand what the raters are looking for and how each question is scored. The essay in the writing section will each be given an overall score from zero to five. For question two, the independent writing question, the raters are looking for three main things. Skill building tips, read opinion essays and write about them. Time yourself and plan. Write and revise in 30 minutes. Learn how to find and correct grammar mistakes. Remember, when you practice, you may find that you're making the same kind of grammar mistakes over and over. So learn how to correct them. Then, when you write your essay, leave a few minutes to go back and make those corrections. Okay. So, what is the important about the writing? The writing is because it's time consuming. This means it's going to take you some time to write it. And you need to learn how to get organized when you write it. You have to be clear about what you want to say and how you're going to do it. The best way is think about always like a typical writing assignment. Introduction, body, conclusion, or start, middle, and end. This is the idea to make it better. Okay. So. What are the different types of things we're gonna have is we're gonna make sure that we get all of the different writing tasks. So one more time, let's take a look at a couple of the important points that they mentioned. Okay, here. With a question and you have 30 minutes to write your response. How long do you have to write your response? 30 minutes. 30 minutes. How many words is the minimum you should be looking for? 300. 300. 300. 300. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of words. It's a lot of words. It's not like one sentence, two sentences. You have to start thinking like paragraphs. 
a couple of paragraphs that you're going to have, right? Now, if you use Word or Microsoft, the Word, 300 words is a little bit more than half the page. So you have an idea. 300 words is minimum half the page. So you should think more than half the page or the complete page. This is how long or how much you have to write, okay? So always, as you can see, do you agree or disagree? So you need to give your point of view, but always start off with the main idea, what is the topic, your agreement or disagreement, and then the reason, the explanation for your opinion. That's the most important part, right? The part for your opinion, that's the ideas. So they're gonna ask you questions like, do you agree? Do you uh, disagree? Would you prefer? Do you support? Do you oppose? All of those is the same. It's the same idea. Is yes or no in your opinion? Is that okay? Yes, sir. Yes. Good. Remember, similar to the speaking, it's holistic. Holistic means it's not one by one, but they look at everything and then they give you the complete score. Here, the scores is not from zero to four, like in the speaking. The scores are from zero to five. These are going to be the difference. Zero to five, development, organization. The writers are looking groups. for and how each question is scored. The essay in the writing section will each be given an overall score from zero to five. For question two, the independent writing question, the writers are looking for three main things. So here's something that you need to include. Right, we already have the three main areas, but how well do you address the topic? How good or how well your details, examples, and reasons support your ideas? So not only I agree, not only I disagree. Okay, why do you agree? Why do you disagree? What are your examples? What are your details? What are your logical reasons? It's okay, you can have, they don't care if you agree or disagree, it's not important. The important is your language to support your reason, your language to support your ideas. Okay, so when you write, sorry, yes, Yanti? No. Okay, so the important is when you write, look at your sentence. Is the same sentence, is longer, shorter, is complete, is complex? The words, do you repeat the same word many times? Do you use basic words, vocabulary? Do you have the correct S, third person, past tense, present? All of these are you using is what they're going to evaluate you. Okay. So teacher, and, and this part of the exam, um, I give, uh, give uh, 30 minutes in order to answer one one case, for example, I don't know, I understand. It's necessary to formulate, organize my ideas, doing a organization of information in order to give an answer. I think it's necessary to write, right? Depend on you, because if you are bad organizing, you but need the to time, organize. but, but the time for this part of the exam is 30 minutes. Correct. Okay. You have 30 minutes for this part of the exam. Mm -hmm. Okay. But yeah. I think if I um if I will prepare so good in this part, I got so advantage in this part in order to do it so so fast or quickly, I don't know what to say. Mm -hmm. Uh write my answer and and advantage the time. Depend on you, but I Imagine this. Imagine it's a book. Mm -hmm. Stephen King, uh, Harry Potter, uh, whatever book. Do you think they write or do you think they organize, structure, and then write? Oh, okay. You can write and they write. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they write, but have a lot of mistakes, not correct uh -huh. vocabulary, not yeah. correct structure, the order is in disorder, have to change the word, have to go. You can do both ways. If you write, 
you have to give enough time for you to go back and mm -hmm. check your writing. Yeah, this is you're the, right. This is one. You have to have time to go back to check your writing. Mm -hmm. But if you organize, you don't have to go back and organize. Mm -hmm. Only you have to complete your writing. Yeah. Right? It's kind yeah. of like when you cook. It's like when you cook. If you have the recipe, you can prepare everything before you cook. And you have the ingredients. Two, 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 two. And mm -hmm. then you only focus in the cooking, right? Mm -hmm. But if not, if you don't read the recipe and you begin to prep, we I forgot this. Oi, I need this. I need this. And then it depends on you. But some people are very good. Some people, they can write and then only have time to go back and check. Other people, oi, I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. Then it's better organize the ideas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so how long does it take uh, to, to, to do that, that exam? Um, the writing part, you have 30 minutes. So you have, it's not a problem in the writing part. Two hours is, is normal a time for, for, for in order to do that exam, teacher? Complete exam in the four areas? Writing no, only, is only the writing, only the writing is 30, 30 minutes. minutes. Only the but writing for one the question. Time, how long time take to do that exam? The complete exam. Yeah. Four hours. Four hours. My God. <laughs> <laughs> and and they give us uh, some break. No. No. <laughs> no. You don't have break. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. You go and then to you sit and that's it. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. Yes, it's a long exam. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's take a look at the type of questions that we have. Here we have two types of questions so that we can see. Okay. Let's take a look. Walter, please read. Okay. Instructions. Read the question below. You have 30 minutes to plan, write, uh, revise your essay. Typically, an effective response contains a minimum of 300 words. Make sure write them and send them to your instructor in order to him, for him or her to check them for you. Good. So that's what we're going to practice today. Today, we're going to practice a little bit of the writing. We're going to use these ideas because we also have the more questions there. So you can see we have a lot of practice for the writing. It takes about 30 minutes. And then finally on Thursday, we have the final exam. So we have today, we have tomorrow to practice, Wednesday to review, and then Thursday to do the test or depending if we are fast on Wednesday. Okay, so let's start off with the writing. Here, let me show you a little bit of idea. So remember, the same thing, yes, you have 30 minutes, but it's not a lot of time because you have to organize, read the question, understand it, um, make sure that you have it structured, okay? All of these are very important. Let me see if I can give you um, a small example so we can get a better idea of it, okay? Here we go. This would be probably a good idea for you. Okay, so we have like a little reading or in this case, a question, right? And then super easy, summarize, do you agree? So look here, the green as an example of an answer. What is it? Introduction, a body, a conclusion. This is what you want to do. You want to organize yourself in paragraphs, not in sentences, no one to do, 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 do. You want to be clear introduction. First example, second supporting ideas. The third one, all of these are the best way to get the most points on your exam. It's okay? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, and that's what we want. In the end, 
all it is is about getting a lot of points, getting a lot of points to make sure that it's correct. Okay, so let's read question number one and answer it. Katya, can you please read question number one? You agree or disagree with the following statement? Uh, the best teacher is one who is very knowledge, knowledgeable about the subject matter. Use a specific reason, reason and example to support your answer. Okay. So you have a few minutes. Organize. First, begin by organizing. Okay, how are you going to write? How are you going to organize yourself? What is your introduction? What is your main idea? What is your body? What is your conclusion? What is your point of view? You agree or disagree? If you agree, what are the examples why? If you disagree, what are your examples why? This is the idea. Okay, are we ready? Yes, sir. Yes? Yes. yes. Okay, so let's practice, write, practice writing, no in paper, practice writing on the computer, because if you do your test, you're going to do it on the computer. You are not going to do it in paper. So we're going to have to make sure that it's clean and it's correct. So practice in Word, practice in a notepad or in the chat, but organize yourself. Okay, let's go. We're gonna take 30 minutes to make sure that we have enough time. I have the timer and then we can begin. Okay. Ooh, there we go. Okay. If you have questions, I am here. Let's take a look and try it. Yeah, we're going to work individually, sir. Okay. Yes, it's going to be individual. Oh, that's nice.
Okay, so you already have 10 minutes. 10 minutes. This means, don't worry, we are practicing, but this means at 10 minutes, you should have a minimum the introduction and the first paragraph. You should already start to develop in the first and be working in the third or fourth paragraph, okay? So the first and second, you should have your ideas and developing. Continue, but it's so that you learn to watch your time. Learn to watch your time, okay? Go ahead and continue.
three more minutes, three more minutes. Okay, guys, so we have 25 minutes. We're going to pause right there. Don't worry. It's not 30 minutes yet, but I want you to understand how to organize your time. So if you saw the first few minutes were for you to have your ideas, how you're going to structure your paragraphs and what to do. Like Walter mentioned, some people, they like to begin writing right away. That's okay. The two options are okay. It has to do with you and what you like to do more. But one recommendation, always, always, the last five minutes is not for writing. In this moment, the last five minutes, we are going to use for doing what you have to do in the exam. Check the spelling, check the word, capital letter, punctuation, period, exclamation, comma, everything. Do you have the, the sentence with capital letter? Do you have a period? Do you have separation? Do you have paragraphs? Do you have all of this is we're going to have five minutes. Do you need to change the order? Do you want to add more words? Do you want to remove? Do you repeat the same word many times? For example, very common, very. The word very, some people use a lot. It's very good, very delicious, very nice, very happy. No, you have to use other vocabulary. So remember, now we have five minutes. Check your writing. C, peri uh, check punctuation capital letters, uh, periods, vocabulary, grammar. Do you use past tense? You use present. Do you have the correct structure? Take a moment, read. We have five minutes and then we check your writing and how you would be scored. Okay. So five yes. minutes, make the corrections and check. Mm -hmm.
remember, check your words. Do you have 300 words minimum? Do you have the paragraphs? Do you have the structures? All of that is important information. Imagine if they say 300, you have 150, automatically you have half the points. Right yes. there, you lose half. Thirty seconds. Okay, that is the time, thirty minutes. As you can see, it's a long time, but not enough to get everything that you need. Because imagine. That's not hard. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think, Walter? You have the 300 words? <laughs> uh, I don't know, but um, I tried. I, I write a lot of words. <laughs> a lot of words. Okay. Did you write on, uh, on Microsoft Word? Did you write on the computer? Yeah. Okay. And how many words does it say? I don't know. In the bottom, in the left corner, it says cantidad de palabras, and then it tells you right there automatically. Let me check. Jansi, how about you? I have only 184. Okay, so we need about 50 percent more. <laughs> mm -hmm. the same, 184. Hey, the same copionas. All right, I like it. I like it. <laughs> the same number, the same number. Sandra, oops, I don't know how. How I don't know how. The, ah, there are 278 words almost. Only. Very nice, Sandra. Almost there, a yeah. little bit more, a little bit more. Good job. 278 is okay. It's not too bad. Very nice. Jenny? Two hundred and nine, two hundred and nine, 170. 170. Okay. Okay. 209 words. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. All right. So first, that is one goal. That is one objective. Try to get to the 300 words. This is number one. Number two is not only 300 words, but is it logical? Did you write in paragraphs? Did yeah. you have a sequence? Do you have period, punctuation, the exclamation, the different parts? Okay. Let's take a look and see what we can have. In here, in the chat here, in the group, is difficult. You cannot put a lot. You cannot put 300 words, I think. It's not possible to copy. So today we're going to practice with a little bit of reading. You're going to read what you wrote, and we're going to try to help you. Okay? Who would like to read what they wrote? Me, teacher. Thank you, Sandra. Go ahead. Okay. We can consider the best teacher that who has perfect knowledge and great skill to teach his subject. Also, he has many qualities to show, as for example, being enthusiastic, empathetic, engaging, friendly. And it is common to hear students that they do not feel comfortable with the way their teacher try them because they teach in a rude way. For example, he calls them girl. <laughs> 
when someone gets wrong in a response. And, and he is supposed to teach and guide correctly. If, if he watches and tries to know better each one of his pupils, he will know what are the difficulties in everyone. And he must focus on each weakness until getting his students understand and dominate the topic. Uh, best teacher is that one who teaches making fun. Meanwhile, he is teaching. Um, have, uh, having gets involved the whole class, but not only those who understand better. Students with some difficulties must be the best understood and helped. Besides, a best teacher does not finish his class in the classroom, but he is also available from home to receive any asking for help. Uh, he must make his student that everyone is important and does not have any preference for any group only. Finally, the best teacher must make feel each student to be a great support in his learning, no matter what a difficult subject seems to be the, uh, what he teaches. He must mark a great difference in each life so everyone can remember him his long life. And that's all. Okay. Very nice. I like the structure. I like the organization. I think in paragraph two is probably yeah. the area that we can improve a little bit more. In yes. paragraph two is, I think you started to describe um, day. Is that in paragraph two is where you describe day, Sandra? Um, which one? When you're talking about the teachers and then you say they can help, they... Because at the beginning, you say that, that in the first paragraph, you talk about he. He needs this and that, right? And then... Uh, the and well, because it is common to hear students that they do not feel comfortable. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Continue Continue the sentence. Uh-huh. With the way uh, their teachers try them. Okay. Uh-huh. Because... And when they get runs, it, some some teachers say, "Oh, you're a girl," <laughs> so they, they, it is not the, the the correct way to teach. No. Okay, um, good, very good. No, 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 that's okay. I just wanted to make sure that we had the correct pronoun, and it's okay. correct. If you want to begin with he, all the paragraph with he. If you go with she, she, they, they. The idea is continue the correct structure. Very good, Sandra. That's nice. That is correct, Sandra. Nice organization. Thank okay. you, teacher. Good. One more. Who else would like to read? One more. I try. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead, Jansi. Okay. I agree that the best teacher is one who is a knowledge day, knowledge table. I don't know. Don't in worry. The, don't subject... worry the pronunciation. <laughs> I understand. The important is the in grammar. In the subject seems that give him the ab ability, ability, ability to express more easily and make himself understood in many ways what the what he wants to teach he does he doesn't find any obstacle to advance advance and he's made teaching more enable enjoy enjoyable so that it his listener never lost interest in what he teaches them i consider that when a teacher expert in the subject can handle handle different points without getting lost and refer refer reinforce re, as necessary. For example, in the subject of mathematics, many times the student does not doesn't understand with the first example. Then the teacher has different strategies to probably make it understand with another method and the student forwards that method. Also in the case of a minor child, the expert teacher achieve a child's attention and know its limitations. How to say what the time is prudent for a three years old children, for example, to pay attention and be able to learn easily. In conclusion, I consider that in order to be an expert in knowledge, it is necessary to upgrade 
with the subject and innovate new file. Okay, Files. good. Yancy, nice job. We have to work a little bit the vocabulary. You are confusing the verbs and the adjectives um, for what is correct and which one. I understand the main idea, but we have to work a little bit more on verbs and adjectives, right? Okay. So for example, confuse, okay. confusing, understand, understanding. These words <laughs> are where we need to work on, but very nice. Okay, guys, okay. Okay. great job for the first writing. Don't worry, tomorrow we have the opportunity. As you can see, one writing takes a long time because you need to be clear, organized, structure. And remember, the writing is not for you. The writing is for the person in the United States or in Canada that is going to read and evaluate you. And you have to organize it like the way that they instruct you. Okay? Okay, okay. teacher. All, All right. right, guys. Thank you so much for have connecting. Nice night. Yes. Bye -bye. Okay. See you. Good, Good night. 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 Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.